While Andy Murray was busy beating Roger Federer for the first time in a major, we were compiling the latest and greatest stories from around the tennis world. Hey tennis fans, I'm Blair Henley and welcome to the Tennis Now News Update, brought to you by the Gamma Razor Challenge, Find Your Feel. In another amazing display of tennis, Murray topped Federer 6-4, 6-7, 6-3, 6-7, 6-2 to set up a rematch of the US Open final against Novak Djokovic. Things got a little tense at 6-5 in the fourth set when Murray seemed to pause in the middle of the first point, begging an out call. Andy ended up closing it out with a passing shot anyway, leading Roger to yell, quote, you expletive stopped. Federer said after the match that he and Murray were just checking each other out. Fed also dropped an audible F-bomb near the end of the second set. As tennis writer Ben Rothenberg put it, it's like seeing a unicorn give you the finger. If Murray wins in the final, he'll be the first to win his first two Grand Slams back to back. If Djokovic wins, he'll be the first to three-peat at the Australian Open. Either way, history will be made. Joe Wilfried Sanga had some interesting things to say about the women's side of the game after losing to Federer in the quarterfinals. When asked why there's no WTA equivalent of the Big Four, Sanga said this, quote, You know the girls. They're more unstable emotionally than us. I'm sure everybody will say it's true, even the girls. No? No, you don't think? He probably should have stopped right there, but Sanga went on to dig himself into an even bigger hole with the ladies. But I mean, it's just about hormones and all this stuff. We don't have all these bad things, so we're physically in a good shape every time and you are not. That's it. Victoria Azarenka is still feeling the heat after taking a 10 minute medical timeout in her semifinal match against Sloane Stephens. In a post-match interview, Azarenka admitted that after she failed to convert five match points at 5-3 in the second set, she was feeling overwhelmed and nervous, hence the reason for her lengthy break. Later, she claimed she didn't understand the question, but it seemed that in a moment of extreme arrogance, or possibly ignorance, Azarenka chose to say exactly what was on her mind. In some ways, it seems we should be thanking her for blowing the lid off the gamesmanship that so often accompanies medical timeouts as well as bathroom breaks. While she's certainly not the first player to use the rules to her advantage, the 23-year-old is the first to give us undeniable proof that the practice exists. Unfortunately for tennis, it's something that happens from 10 and under play all the way on up the ladder. In fact, many coaches are known for instructing their students to break an opponent's rhythm when possible. Unfortunately for Vika, her candor will likely garner her a tough Aussie crowd in the final against Li Na. We can only hope the Azarenka controversy leads to a rule adjustment in the future. That's all for today's Tennis Now News update. What did you think about Murray's win, Sangha's comments, and Azarenka's so-called medical timeout? Let us know in the comment section below or on Facebook and Twitter. We'll see you next time here on Tennis Now.